Hey, this is Tejesh Kalki. Can you try solving this viral IQ test? This question was posted on Facebook and other social media platforms with a quote only one in a thousand can solve. In this video, I am going to explain the most believed answer to this problem. Pause the video and give this problem a try and when you are ready, keep watching for the solution. Most people believe that the answer to this puzzle is 96. And here's how they have got the answer. In the question, when they have meant a plus b, they actually meant a plus a into b. For example, 1 plus 4 is actually 1 plus 1 into 4, which is nothing but 5. And similarly, 2 plus 5 is nothing but 2 plus 2 into 5, which is nothing but 2 plus 10 or 12. Similarly, 3 plus 6 is nothing but 3 plus 3 into 6. By adding this, we get 21. In the same manner, 8 plus 11 actually mean 8 plus 8 into 11, which is nothing but 8 plus 88 or rather 96. And this is how they have got the answer. But some people does not agree with this answer. They thought that the problem should be interpreted in another manner. Let's see how that is. They believe that the answer is 40. Because they have assumed that we should interpret this as a running total problem. That is the first line is actually 1 plus 4 which is nothing but 5. This is algebraically correct. And then when doing the next sum that is 2 plus 5, we should actually add the current total that is 5 to it. So total 5 plus 2 plus 5 we get 12. And then to the next line of 3 plus 6 we should add this 12. So we get the total of 12 plus 3 plus 6 which is nothing but 21. By following this sequence the next sum should be 21 plus 8 plus 11 which is nothing but 40 and that's how they have got this answer. So therefore these two different answers have caused quite a controversy in the social media. But there is actually a way to combine both of these answers to get the same result of 96. Let's see how that is. We can try extending this running total interpretation. If you observe carefully, the first numbers are 1, 2 and 3. They are in a sequence, right? Similarly, the second numbers are also 4, 5 and 6. They are also in a sequence. Following this sequence, the first number in the next line should be 4 and the second number should be equal to 7. So therefore, the next line should be 4 plus 7. By adding the previous total of 21 to this, we get the total of 32. And similarly, the next line should be 5 plus 8 and adding the previous total of 32, we get the total 45. And then the next line should be 6 plus 9 and adding 45, we get 60. And the line after that should be 7 plus 10 and adding the previous total of 60, we get 77. And finally, we reach the term 8 plus 11 and adding 77 to it, we get the total of 96. So therefore, we got the same answer of 96 in two different methods. So we can assume that 96 is actually the correct answer to this problem. Did you get to the answer of 96? Thanks for watching the video. If you want to see more such videos, please subscribe to the channel.